this beautiful continent certainly has an abundance of natural wonders. The Masai Mara. The wildlife of the Masai Mara is diverse. You'll see big cats. You'll see herds of wildebeest and zebra. And you'll see giants of the savannah. The elephants, the giraffes and much more. At certain times of the year, the world-famous Great Migration can be seen crossing from the Serengeti through the Western Corridor to the Masai Mara. During this time, the largest concentration of animals on the planet can be seen as they search for the lush plains. is as diverse as the wildlife, changing from country to country. Within some of the countries there are small hidden tribes. Meeting the locals is important, and in this episode you will see the Maasai tribe of Kenya and Tanzania, plus you will visit villages whilst experiencing how the locals live their lives on a day-to-day -day basis on this extraordinary journey. The Masai Mara is one of the most popular national reserves in Kenya. But the name Masai Mara comes from the people that live here. When traveling to the Masai lands from the city of Nairobi, you will leave all the main settlements. You will travel through dusty hills and dry savanna. The village here has no running water, no electricity, and no main road linking it with the nearby Kenyan town. Mm -hmm. So here we are in the Maasai lands, just west of Nairobi, and this is part of the Great Rift Valley. And at the moment we're staying with the Maasai people, who I'd like to introduce you to one of the Maasai people who we're staying with, who is down here. Here we are. I'd like to introduce yourself to, your, to all the people watching. Okay, let's go. My name is Joseph Pango from East Africa, Kenya, and this is Maasai land. We are just seated in one of the high cliffs, one of the great escarpments of the Great Rift Valley. And in my village, we, which is mostly inhabited by the Maasai people, we have, um, in my village we have more than 5,000 people living here, and we are mostly pastoralists, and our land, that means we keep cows, goats and sheep and we also interact with wild animals here because uh, most of the wild animals like the giraffes, we have also the leopards, the hyenas, the lions, the baboons, we have even the deers, the gazelles and the antelopes, we have all of them living with us and even the elephants, the rhinos, we have the buffaloes, the zebras. We have all of them here. The giraffe here are abundant in the Maasai lands. But I can't help this feeling that I am being watched.
There are so many giraffe here. 31 to be precise. So Cecilia here, she's actually the, um, the, the leader of the chairman here and her husband, he's the, um, what is director. He's the director <laughs> of the community here. I mean being here has really sort of brought out to light what we take for granted in the places we live to realise well we have everything we need. We do, we can afford TVs, we can afford cars, we can afford most of the luxuries but here luxuries don't come easily and actually most of the luxuries they probably do have here are coming from, from charity. So the money here is actually being shared around the community here. Yeah. It doesn't just go to one Maasai family, yeah. it doesn't just go to all the Maasai families, it goes into the schools, it goes into the food, yeah. it also goes into the volunteers. So this money is going around everywhere and yeah. selling the Maasai jewellery is, is a really important way of raising this money. And how much roughly do you sell Maasai jewellery for each? It's depend of the jewellery mm -hmm. and because most of them are 500, that one is the, the cheaper. That's the 500 shillings? Yeah. 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 So, so 500 shillings is, is not a lot of money really when it comes to <laughs> the sense of us yeah. as into our, ourselves, yeah. so obviously to yourselves yeah, it's a lot of money. Yeah, but for us it's very expensive because we don't have some market for selling. Mm -hmm. That one is the big problem. Yes. Because if you can get the where you can sell the jewelry, this house can finish every time. The funds that the Maasai have got so far, is, it's not enough to even complete this. So it's at least three years before this is complete. So every little bit of help, I think, is really going to help this. So here we have our leopard print. And this was freshly done, so maybe a couple of hours ago. Hours ago. A uh, leopard probably crossed through here. Um, whether it's still in the bush, we're not sure. Hi, I'm Kelsey, a student at American University studying here in Kenya. I'm staying in Nairobi for three months and today visiting the Maasai land. Joseph here has been our incredible host. Um, we've learned fantastic things about the people, the culture, traditions, rites of passage, experienced a little bit of Maasai delicious cooking and traditional dance and song and uh, even picked up a few souvenirs. So. Um, it's been a fantastic experience, and uh, glad to have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at Robert, he's <laughs> So here we are today and we have now made it to the Maasai school. As you can see, this is the Maasai school. It's very, very simple. There really isn't much here. They've got hardly any equipment that they're using. And as you can see, we are now in the countryside. Although it is very beautiful here, it's quite sad really to see how much they have, which is not much. Uh, 
There are some other good things that they have brought to us, okay? Yes. And uh, they are very good to us. Oh. She can eat both. Jayden has got some more things. Very good. Have a look. My coffee is over. Another one. Another one. Now, this is just but a few, the others are in the library, are you together? Yes. Very good. Oh, some more even. Have a look, and others in the library, okay? Yes. Very good. Yes. There are some other good things here. You may not know what they are, but you get to know what they are, correct? Yes. Of different colors, different mix, for different purposes, for all the good sasa. Very good. I begin my coffee, kiddo. Sawa, sawa. So, they have been with us, they will be with us, and they will go. Okay? Would you like them to come back again? Yes. yes. Let me see by a show of hands. How many would like them to come back? Wow, 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 wow. Thank you. Now, uh, <laughs> we want you to come back again. Yes. You are welcome again. Thank you. And, uh, Thank you. And again and again. That's uh, okay. The Maasai have shown me their culture. Now I want to give them a taste of my culture. This London, yeah. oh, it's a very, very, very great city. Very big from a different from what I'm used to in Masaila from underground. Oh, very long straight streets. Oh my gosh, a very good city. Wow, wow. Oh my gosh, very, very different buildings, different designs. Very different from what I'm used to. In my country, I see always in Masaila, the cattle along the roads, the plains, there is no such beauty like this. Very different. Oh my gosh. 